Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at a brand new PS2 emulator for android devices which has just launched today it is known as the PSSX2 which is a proper PCSX2 emulator port for android devices now this emulator is launched by its main developer easy to launch and PSSX2 the PlayStation emulator for android is an high performance PS2 emulator bringing your favorite PS2 games to mobile platforms with enhanced graphics and modern features it is a port of the renowned PCSX2 emulator specifically to provide optimized performance on ARM 64 devices. It has some of the features such as high compatibility, enhanced graphics, touch controls, external controls, save state, game covers, and much more. Here are the minimum requirements. You need at least Android 8.0 or above, along with that minimum 4 GB of RAM, OpenGL ES 3.2 or above. So any modern device should be able to run this emulator without any problems. Once that has been done, this emulator is also officially available on Google Play Store. As you guys can see right here, the PSSX2 emulator early access. But I'll recommend you guys to use the GitHub version of the PSSX2 emulator instead as it is officially provided by the main developer too in the releases section released about 14 hours ago. With that being said let's start setting up this emulator. So we'll just go ahead and open this emulator for the first time. Afterwards you'll need to choose the folder for the PSSX2 emulator. Once you select any random folder it will say data folder set. Now you'll need to select the folder where you have stored your PS2 games. Now you'll need to select the BIOS of PSSX2. Once that's done immediately you guys can see the PSSX2 emulator will successfully start on your Android device. Guys, you can simply tap on the get cover option right here and it will also load the game covers as well. Once the emulator has started, it can be ran on both portrait and landscape mode. As you guys can see, the game covers look really amazing. You can tap on the top left corner and the emulator will crash sometimes. It is because if you by mistakenly select to open any game. But let's tap on top left corner. Here are the settings that are available in PSSX2. So you get the ability to apply the best settings in terms of friend error. Make sure to go with VK which stands for Vulkan. In terms of games, you can select the game folder. Also game state here, you can save game state. Now all of these settings are also accessible from the game itself. In terms of aspect ratio, enable stretch to fill screen. Or you can also go with 16 is to 9 aspect ratio, which is actually best suited. Resolution scale, you can go all the way up to 5K resolution or as low as native 480p resolution. But I would say 1080p is actually the best spot if you have any modern and Android device. If you have flagship Android device, you can also go with 4X, 1440p QHD resolution. That's what I'll go with for today's video. Blending accuracy should be minimum for best performance and basic is recommended. So if you have low end device, resolution scale set it to 1X native resolution and minimum blending accuracy. Widescreen patches has been enabled, no interlacing has been enabled and everything else you can keep it as default. Now we are all set to start testing out some PS2 games on our mobile device. That's how easy it is to set up the PSSX2 emulator on your mobile device. Now the performance should be actually pretty amazing because this is an official fork of the PCSX2 emulator Android, the world's best PS2 emulator. But in the God of War 2 demo game which I have added on my Android device, the X button does not get recognized. So I'll just go ahead and tap on the exit game button and we'll try out NFS Most Wanted instead. In just single clicks our game should successfully start. Here we go NFS Most Wanted is about to start. The 16 is to 9 aspect ratio is also pretty amazing. But you can also scroll back and yeah the emulator will restart sometimes. Let's reopen the game because the emulator decided to restart. You can also set the aspect ratio as stretch fill screen if you want better experience like full screen gameplay experience. But do note that uh, the native resolution is 480p for PS2 games. So the images or gameplay might appear stretched out. Regardless, let's press the X button and jump right into our today's gameplay test of PSSX2 emulator. So here we go, NFS most wanted demo, press the start button to continue. Let's press the X button to skip the cutscene and choose the legendary BMW, set the transmission to automatic. And here we go, the graphics you guys can see for yourself, it's super crisp, like just take a look at this. 4x graphics resolution is really amazing and it will work 100% with almost 60 FPS if you have a flagship Android device or any hand Android device of 2025 even with uh, the QHD resolution scaling. So this is a really amazing experience. I definitely do recommend you guys try this emulator out if you are into PS2 games. This will be very easy to set up and very easy to run but there will obviously be uh, crashing issues and if you don't want crashing issues you'll need to go with the Nether SX2 PS2 emulator for Android. Anyways that's going to be it for today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.